A late night gathering in Ripon Lee, prompting a police investigation into a possible breach. Today, officers patrolled the streets of the Melbourne suburb on one of the most important holidays on the Jewish calendar. There is nothing pious or spiritual about ignoring the public health rules. We, we all need to do the right thing. It just breaks my heart to see people blatantly disregarding these kind of rules because these, these lockdowns are killing these businesses. It's potential rule breaks like this that have the government worried, as Victoria recorded another 246 cases. That's why the rules apply to everybody. And whether it's having your friends around a home uh, and inadvertently videoing it, uh, or an engagement party, or whatever it might be. It's not, it's just not right. More than 270 of the state's active cases are aged 0 to 9. Slightly more Victorians aged 10 to 19 have the virus. It's the same number for those in their 30s. But the biggest portion of young people infected are in their 20s. There's a 17 year old on a ventilator as I speak. Determined not to be part of that group, 30,000 calls were made by Year 12 students to book a vaccine appointment on Monday. And it's not the only vaccination expansion. State-run hubs like this one here in Altona are also being boosted. Sites are getting extra cubicles and opening hours will also be extended to meet demand. New sites are also being added. We are through the 60% barrier. We'll get to 70% sooner if more and more people get vaccinated. First to meet that target in the state is the local government area of Queenscliff on the Bellarine Peninsula. 92% of its population has had at least one dose and close to three quarters are fully vaccinated. Andrea Hoff, ABC News, Melbourne.